The Ghanaian Farmer, proudly brought to you by Crocodile Markets and Lizzie Tomato Mix. Good farming, alternatively known as community farming, is an idea conceived to bring together young people or landless people who have interest in agriculture. This week on The Ghanaian Farmer, we are all the way in Ada East District to have a conversation with the founder for Farm for Livelihood Association, Isaac, who has founded another group of young people who are into onion farming. We are currently in the farm where the planting is ongoing. We are going to speak to the founder and as well as engage some of the young people to find out what this whole idea means to them. My name is Enyanam and this program is proudly brought to you by Lizzie Tomato Mix and Crocodile Markets. Share your views with us and visit our social media platform, especially YouTube, The Ghanaian Farmer, to subscribe and watch every other interview over there. I'm going for a quick breather. When I come back, I would engage Isaac in a conversation. Stay tuned. <laughs> for staying with us you're still watching the Ghanaian farmer my name is Enyona thanks for joining us Thank you. quickly when we say farm for livelihood association can you tell us the idea that led to forming this group okay farm for livelihood association we are mainly into farming and then we bring the um, people together in the community that we set a farm um, it is um, an organization that we we try to generate income to support school children who are not having any um, support, enough support from their parents, or do not have um, anybody to take care of their education. So we mainly have um, what we call farm for school. A farm for school, we have school children, and during weekends, it means in each community, we mm. create farm, okay. where holiday and weekends, mm -hmm. school children come and they work. Okay. And then when it is harvest, the proceed that comes is Part of it is used to, to, support, to them. support their education, okay. pay for their feeding, mm. and then um, school bags, mm. sandals. Mm. Those are the basic things that children need okay. to go to school. And then some children do not have these things. Right. So um, this farm basically, this is what it's doing. Okay. And then the other part of mm. it is so we use to support the disabled people. Mm. So we set farm for disabled persons mm -hmm. in their community. Mm. You sometimes see them in Accra, Tema, those mm. big cities, begging on the streets. Yes. Uh -huh. So in that area, in our area, we mm. try to prevent the disabled people from uh, moving from their community. So we keep them in their community. Okay. We establish farms right. for those who can farm. Okay. And then they are doing this and mm. then get um, some money from mm. their farm to take care of their children. Okay. Um, so that they don't move to... Right. To, and they will also contribute to the development of uh, the their community. community. Okay. How long has it been since you started this association? We started since 2008. So since 2008 till now, the lands you um, get or the lands you uh, lease from the owners to do this farming activity, do you lease them and pay or because of the projects you do, it is given to you at a free will? Okay, since um, 2008, mm. when I wanted to start this project, I paid for about um, a plot of land okay. to start it okay. and then I did it and then when I got the result, what mm -hmm. I want, then I started telling because um, when I decided to help children mm -hmm. through agriculture, mm -hmm. I did that small plot first and I paid for. But after that, I showed the result to the chiefs and the people in the community mm -hmm. that this is what we want to do to mm -hmm. support the children in the community. Right. Then the uh, chiefs and the people in the community started giving us land. For free now? Yes, um, okay. we also pay some token back to okay. the community. Mm. And then when we get to schools, there are some schools, there are schools, a lot of schools here, okay. they have land, but they are not doing anything. Mm. It is some are refuge dams and all. So we talk to the head of the, those schools and then they release those lands for us. And then we used to cultivate. And then we have a percentage that go back to the school. Okay. We create an account for those schools right. and then we we are giving scholarship to 10 children in those schools right. we pick 10 children and wow. we'll be supporting their education up to so that's high how you've been doing it since 2008 yeah. till now so now mm. when we started talking to the heads mm -hmm. and the chiefs in the community mm. they started releasing the lands okay. and then we've been using there are other places too that we get the land from individual okay. uh -huh, and then we have um, a token that we give to them so mm. it's like a win-win affair kind of thing. to everybody yeah everybody okay yeah. my next question 
what are the uh, common or the basic um, crops that you normally grow after you have this land? Okay, we, we do onion mm. because onion it does well in the grow well in the sand, okay. sandy loamy. So right. we do onion, we do ah. carrots, okay. we do watermelon, mm. okra, mm. lettuce, cucumber, mm. and pepper. Mm. That's the chili pepper okay. and a bell pepper. Okay. Tomatoes right. is a major thing. So we do all kinds of vegetables okay. in this. So soil. mainly it's vegetable, your vegetables focus. and fruits. Okay. Uh, what I want to find out is that the vegetables you have mentioned, how do you come by the seedlings? Do you buy them or because you happen to be an NGO, other farmers, commercial farmers give you the seedlings for free? How do you come by them? We don't get the seeds for free. Um, we have to buy, we buy the seeds. When I started, I save, I used my savings, okay. money that I saved for some year, about five, six years, right. to start the small farm. Mm. So when I started, then we get some funds from that place. Then we used to invest into another one. Okay. Uh -huh. So that's how we started. And then so also, you buy the seedlings? Yeah, we buy the seedlings. Okay. Also. Let's focus our attention where we are now. Okay. This is about four acres. Okay. And yeah. all of it is going to use for onion, right? For onion. Okay. That's the first start. It, it, it looks like an island and a forest area. Yeah. How did you go about clearing the place? Okay. Um, so um, the Farm for Livelihood Association, mm -hmm. we have um, other projects under, under Farm for Livelihood. Okay. So the Farm for Livelihood is a bigger association. Association. Okay. The mother association. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we have Farm for School. Mm -hmm. Then we also have are down for Young Farmers Club. Mm. So it's like every community, we, we, we are in about 27 communities, mm. no, about 15, 16 communities, okay. and we have about 27 farms. Right. So the mother association form other associations. Small, small, small associations. Associations. So we have farm for school. Okay. Then we have a Young Farmers Club. Mm -hmm. So every community we get, we set up Young Farmers mm. Club. Mm. And then in the island communities, mm -hmm. they don't have enough land or uh, vast land for such project, a okay. farming project. Mm. Um, so we established a uh, fish farm okay. for some of them. Right. Then we found this place mm. on the island mm -hmm. where nobody, no one is staying mm. and it's bushy. Okay. So we thought if we get this place and clear it, then we can also use this place because mm. the soil is good mm. and the river is here. We can use to generate more mm. income mm to support people on the island, children okay. on the island. So okay. Because on the island, they don't have water, okay. they don't have electricity. Right. So this project will support the children, buy mm. solar lanterns mm. for them. So we uh, get this land from the chief, okay. the chief of the, the community, mm. nearby community. Mm. And then when it release, we have to organize the youth. Mm -hmm. and then to clear it, using your own manpower? Sure. Okay. So, <laughs> awesome. We will come back to dive into the commercial part or the monetary wise for this project. But if you just tune in, you're watching the Ghanaian farmer on Joy Prime. My name is Enyonam, and I'm having a conversation with the founder, CEO for Farm for Livelihood Association. That is the motherboard association, and under or beneath us, a small, small farm uh, association for uh, school projects, the Adam for and other, you know, small, small uh, community or uh, let's say clubs that falls beneath the bigger umbrella. So we are going for a quick break. When we come back, we'll explore the monetary part, how much goes into this, and how much is expected out of it at the end of the day. <laughs> Thanks for staying. If you just tuned in, you're watching the Ghanaian farmer proudly brought to you by Lizzie Tomato Mix. When you go to the market and you're shopping, remember Lizzie Tomato Mix is the only tomato paste that makes your meal tasty, delicious, and it is healthy. So make sure you buy it. If you want to be a distributor, contact the numbers on your screen and Crocodile Marchers our initiative that supports the farmer initiative they are strongly behind us they are the manufacturers for durable quality farming tools or equipment if you want to buy make sure you call the number displayed on your screen and call them they've been supporting us and we are so much grateful to crocodile market this is Ghanaian farmer our anniversary Ghanaian farmer is one year of celebrating the success stories of farmers in Ghana. It's on the 28th of August when we'll be coming back to Ada East District, precisely Anyapo community, to celebrate it big time with farmers. So, what out for the 
promotion on TV. But now let's uh, still talk with Isaac. You see, agriculture has become like business. Now, this four acre plot of land that you have cleared, prepared, and you are already, you know, planting the onion seedlings or nursery. Uh, tell me how much went into it. Over here, we spend around 20,000 cities. 20,000? Yes, clearing this land and then buy the irrigation tubes. Yes. Yeah, 20,000 Ghana cities. That is a lot of money. The seed is not part of it. Just the clearing. The clearing of land, uh -huh. fixing of irrigation tubes, right. uh, 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 PVC pipes, mm -hmm. and then pumping machines, mm -hmm. 20,000. That is how much you've invested? Yeah. Now, the nursery, how much do you use to purchase the nursery? The nursery, we, um, we spend uh, 2,000 uh, yeah, 2, mm. 2, Ghana cities. To purchase the nursery? Yeah, the, the seedlings. The seedlings? Yes. Wow. How long did it take for you to uh, grow the seedlings and then it's at that level which you are transplanting to the land to start planting? Yeah, this seedlings is five weeks. Five weeks yeah, old? We nurse it for five weeks okay. and then we are now transplanting. Mm. And then for on this bed, mm -hmm. it will take about almost three months. Mm. Let's say ten weeks it mm -hmm. will be ready. Okay. So we leave it for about three months. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Was, yeah. Now, um, when you plant the uh, nursery, you said it's going to last for ten weeks. And then it's ready for harvesting, is that it? Then, yeah, transplanting, it is, let's say we say three months. Three months, That's then it's ready for, for harvest. Harvest, yeah. okay. Uh, but the next question I want to find out is, uh, it has to do with the irrigation pumps. Yeah. Are you going to leave them here for the next three months? Yes, for, for, for up to, that will be, it's here permanent. Okay. We are not going to remove this thing because immediately we finish the onion, we are mm. going to grow carrots. Okay. Then immediately we do carrot, we come back to another thing. So we right. grow three times in a year. Right. We will do three times in a year. Okay. On this so one. you have so to leave it here. Always we are growing since. Are you able to tell us the number of nursery that you are going to plant on this four acre? Um, is um we don't normally, but we have the the the, the seeds. Okay. Uh -huh, the quantity. We okay. Know. How many bottles? We 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 are doing thirty one bottles. Okay. Yeah, we need 31 bottles. Right. Yeah. And how much is one bottle? The bottle is um, four cities, um, 45 cities. 45 cities. Yeah. Okay, so the 45 bottle is like times a beer, 10. Beer, beer the bottle. beer bottle. So 45 times 10. That's around 50, 40, uh, 450 Ghana cities, right? Mm -hmm. I see. Interesting. Are we um, expected to take the quantity or kilos of what you have grown here? I mean, when it's time for harvesting, have you done a four acre onion farm before? Yeah, we've been. And doing how that many in sacks have you harvested? Okay. And is it once um, or twice? Um, for 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 um, four acres, mm. we are hoping to mm. get around 60, 70 bags of onion. Okay. Uh huh. Sometimes the harvest it depends mm. on the uh huh. Sometimes it's good, and mm. this is a virgin land. Okay. So we are hoping to get around 70, 80 that way. Sacks. Sacks. Okay. If it goes, things goes well. And it's harvested for once. Yeah, it's harvested for once. Okay. Immediately we do the harvest. Mm. We till the land mm -hmm. again. For another, another vegetable plant. crop. Yeah. Another vegetable. Okay. Now what I want to find out is how much is a sack of onion? That one too. It depends. Okay. Right now, uh -huh. when the they started harvesting, people started harvesting. Mm -hmm. It's around 400, 450. Okay. Some, it was 500. It goes down, it goes and come okay. down. And it gets to a time, it's even 800, 900 from the farm. I see. Yeah, but okay. from the beginning mm -hmm. now, it's around 400, 450, mm -hmm. 500, mm -hmm. there about. Is it a 50 kilo or 25 kg? It's a 50 kilo. Okay, I saw that you have cow down here. Mm -hmm. What relevance or essence is this to the land? Yes, um, it gives nutrients to the land. Okay. Uh -huh. And then because this, is, this place is also sandy, uh -huh. so when we pull the cow down, mm. it holds water around the, uh -huh. the plants okay. too. Uh -huh. But usually we use a lot of the compost. Okay. That's the um, organic mm. 
type of thing. Mm. Uh -huh. So we don't use so much fertilizer. fertilizer. Okay. Uh -huh. We use fertilizer, but not so much. So much. Uh -huh. You have a and limited then, number you use. Yeah, and at some places mm. we don't use fertilizer at all. Oh, it okay. depends who we are selling to. Okay. They tell us grow, grow it for us the way we want. Mm. Uh -huh. So we grow it the way we mm. want it. Mm. They can buy it. Okay. So we do use a lot of compost okay. and then the poultry. Manio. Now, there are people outside, the UK, US, uh, Turkey, Spain, who calls us every now and then. They want to invest into the kind of farmers they see on our YouTube channel and all that. Are you open for such investment opportunities? And what are the procedure? What should a person do? Okay, um, mm. we, we, we want more partners. Mm. We want partners to come in. Okay. So definitely when they come, they mm. can go to our website mm -hmm. or our um, Facebook page. Mm. And then we, our contacts and things are there. Mm. Then they can come in. When they come, mm -hmm. we can talk about it and okay. we see how best and it is. What is the difference between individual farming and this kind of community farming? Hey, for me, individual um, farming, mm. my interest uh -huh. is not the individual type. Mm. Yeah, it is to help the community, mm. to help children who, are, who don't have any support, mm. disabled people. Mm. So um, with a community farm, it means mm. I help many people. Okay. So this, when we harvest here, the process here is going to help the whole community. Okay. That's why I started a community farm. Right. By individual farm, they are making profit for their own. Okay. And then with group farm too, mm -hmm. it's good. When people want to partner or if people want to support mm -hmm. and then you are in group, mm -hmm. yeah, they can come in because mm -hmm. when we are together, mm -hmm. it's more There's solid. There's strength Aha, in unity. Okay. Than the individual. Okay. But this time me, right. it's because of the community I'm helping. Okay. That's why I established the community mm -hmm. farms mm -hmm. to help many people in mm -hmm. the community. Okay. So viewers, we are still chit-chatting about onion farming, but this is a community focused or base kind of farming that we're discussing today all the way in Adan S district and Isaac is here telling me a lot about the association it's a four acre onion farming coming up in 60 seconds on our grid when we come back we'll be wrapping up all on the interview <music> 60 Seconds on a Greek is proudly brought to you by Crocodile Markets. <music> with us if you just tune in you're watching the Ghanaian farmer and my name is Enyona Manye. Isaac thanks for staying with us so quickly I, I wanted to understand some of the benefits or the advantages that you would say since you started this project it has brought to the young people you've been working with aside that what are also some challenges realistic ones that you would call on donors or governments to come and help you out um, as for the benefits, mm. a lot, mm. because these projects supported so many children. Mm. Now some are working, mm -hmm. they pass through their tertiary mm. education mm. and they are working. Mm. Because each, each school we have, like, we give scholarship to children, like 10 in mm. each school. Mm. And then when it comes to the community, it creates employment for women mm. in the community. Mm. Because when we harvest, we give the, we give, sell the crops to the women in our community. Mm. That's the farm price. Mm -hmm. So they take it to the market and sell. And the profit is it goes to them, and mm. they used to stay, support their children mm. too. Part of this also support the school feeding program. Mm. So the schools where uh, we have land and then we are doing this, okay. we also support. We give some of the fruits and vegetables to support the school feeding program. Mm. That um, the school 
um, is, 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 is undertaken. Okay. Yeah. Right. As for the challenges, mm. they are there. Financial mm. challenges mm -hmm. that we, we, we don't have enough funds mm. to, to do. For instance, when we are coming to new new projects like this, I have to go for loans. It costs a lot. A lot of mm. loans. So I owe a lot of mm. people to start this to help their community. Right. So if um, someone wants to come in, they want to help, mm. we are there. We, we, we welcome that idea. Do, do you have extension officers who help you when you want to start new projects? Yes, we, we have extension because we are in partnership with the local government, that's okay. the district assembly, right. education, okay. Ghana Health Service, mm. and then the agri office. So okay. we have the extension officers, they mm. come around, they give advice to us. And mm. So we work with, are in partnership so with everybody. So when you have it, how do the buyers hear of it? Do you call them or they know, they know the duration and they are checking on you till it's ready for harvesting? Yes. Um, the buyers there because they are in the community mm -hmm. and then we we, we, we are with them mm -hmm. when it is getting ready mm -hmm. we inform them okay and then there are also buyers from outside that down that comes around right and sometimes we also put it on our um, social media social platform, media platform right. and then people see it and then they call that they okay. want to buy okay now the the distance from where you are to here you have to call a boat to come for us and i'm sure we are going back the boat to go now how do you manage taking your proceeds across to the market and all that. How do you go about it? What are the challenges? Okay, um, this is the first one we are doing mm. on the island. Okay. Yeah, so but there are, we have big boats mm. that do transport things to mm. the... Uh -huh. For example, people are building here and they okay. transport cement and things. Right, so, so are, at times... There are big, big boats oh, that okay. do that. So when it is ready, we uh -huh. do that. Uh -huh. Okay. So we are wrapping up the interview. Um, well done for what you have done for these young men and women. Thank you. Uh, finally, there are a lot of young people, because the guys I saw them planting, they, they are very young people, but they are doing it with a lot of joy and excitement. Mm -hmm. uh, what will be your last message to youngsters who are out there and they don't have work to do, and also to government or any other person? What will be your last message? Yeah, I think for the youth, mm -hmm. um, a lot of youth, a lot of the young people think that farming is for the aged mm. or the illiterate, mm -hmm. but it's not like that. Mm. With this project, we are trying to change the mindset of the youth. Uh -huh. So it's, it, it's good when the youth are doing this mm. and, and then we make it so lovely mm -hmm. that they don't find it difficult mm. uh -huh, because you don't work on it for so long. So mm. I want a lot of you to go into farming okay. and the government but I spoke to a lot of them to that. They don't have what it, what it takes to start. Mm. Yeah, so um, it's not every place that you, can, you are going to use 20,000 mm. to start. Mm. When I started small, mm -hmm. I spent around 600 Ghana City mm. to start that small one. Mm. So even if the young one can get that small support mm. from government or whoever, mm -hmm. they will be able to establish their own. Right. So we want the government to support. Mm. We want them, the other individuals to come in to support. Right. When we get funds, we mm -hmm. can establish this in so many communities. Exactly. And we make sure it works. It right. works in all the communities. Mm. So we want government to come in. We want other people who want mm -hmm. to support to mm. come in and then we'll be happy. Okay. If they give, they will see a lot of this in the mm. community. Mm. And then going three times in a year mm. and the yield is good. But you know, time. we have youth in agriculture policy. Or well, it's a project that government is running. Have you heard of them? Have you tried to approach them for partnership and all that? Yeah, mm -hmm. I do. Sometimes, mm -hmm. I think there was one youth in um, something, some days. I walk and then go to the office, mm -hmm. come in, mm -hmm. and then there was no You help. gave up? They say apply, mm -hmm. we apply, mm -hmm. and then you did, and mm -hmm. move, and then mm -hmm. they say you are, you are on the waiting mm -hmm. list, and then they say, even the recent one, COVID uh, released uh -huh. something. Yes. I apply, and then you I always get, get message that, uh, 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 waiting list or something and it's, it's, it's frustrating ah, sometimes. But I know, still, I know it's frustrating. But for us, we are right. not waiting for government. Okay, we are you doing are doing your best. Thing. When government okay. can or someone comes to right. us, we can do more for okay. more community. Okay, yeah. so this is from Crocodile Market. They have been sponsoring our initiative that support the farmer. Farmers need a lot of basic tools that they can use on the farm. So this is from Crocodile Market. If you want to buy any of this farming, you just make sure you look for them. And he's wearing their t-shirt. It's as if we planned it. Yeah, the farmer's bread. <laughs> yeah. Okay, <laughs> So thanks for watching uh, The Ghanaian Farmer. Me da asisa onya And next week, we'll come your way again with another insightful conversation. Until then,